Hello and welcome to learning how to play Crusader Kings 3 with me, Impra, and we are playing as Ireland because that is the tutorial island and you're supposed to learn there. Now, I'm going to try and explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it so you get an idea of how to play this game. Instead of telling you, okay, this menu item does this, this means that. There's so much going on here and very few things matter from moment to moment. So that's what we're doing. Uh, check out the full playlist and other playlists like it on my channel. We're currently raiding here. So, um, yeah, we got a good, no. Where's my raider? See, had I, had I sold my cat in the last episode, we wouldn't get a feline nurse now. Did I not put a raider in here? Okay, so now we have a raider in. Speed up the raiding speed because very likely enemies are coming to push us back out. And we don't want that. Okay, they're being attacked right now, so that's a bit of a problem. Can we go raid England? Up there, maybe, is best. Well... Hmm. Okay, there's a murder plot I don't really care about. 13, 12. How much gold do we have? We have 30 gold right now, so let's bring that back before we go elsewhere and do something else. So currently we have set it to always raid. Okay, we got a nice crown. Parochial vassal tax contribution goes up. And our prestige income per month goes up a little bit. It's not great. But I'll take it. Thank you so much. So we turn with our loot. And we head back out. Where do we go? On England. I mean, the problem is his head... His, his home base is right there, so. Could be a little bit in trouble. We could go further in. And never stop in England. Just basically go and attack this thing. And this thing is in Italy. So he's not going to come and defend, I don't think. But how many... Okay. We, we need to check down here. How many troops does he have in each of these? Not a lot. So this is ripe for the taking. We can we can go get the whole thing. But we're going to lose some troops there. Not much. It's always just a percentage of what you're going to lose. But it's some. We can just run through here. As long as we don't stop anywhere. We're not raiding. We're only raiding once we stop. So. Let's see. Where's the 16 one? That. We're known for our dedication to our faith. Lovely. We can create the Duchy of Connacht. Which we're not going to do. I don't care. The duchy is going to be created anyway for our, one of our children. Designating a selfless regent may help your son and heir Sebastian if you die too early. I mean, she is selfless. Let's put her to uh, swell our armies. No. Yeah. Swell the armies. That's what she does if she ever becomes a regent of our lands. So we go for the biggest loot item immediately first. And then we try and get the other ones through. So I'm thinking he's not going to raise troops against us. I'm thinking that. I have no evidence. Oh, yeah, I'm wrong. So what we can do is while they're being raised right now, we can try and attack them before they grow to full strength. That's something we can try. But we are raiding while we're walking. So we are... Huh, maybe we walk into disaster. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Do we walk into disaster here? Yep, we're walking into disaster. Oh, darn. I need to... Okay. Yeah, we're getting destroyed now. Ah, it's fine. It was my own fault. So, if I had reached his troops before they fully were raised, we would have been fine, but... Yeah. War declared. Okay, so... The High Chiefdom of Leinster they want. Sure. We'll call in our allies here to help us defend this. And honestly, we need more allies. Let's get some. Yeah, he can't get an ally. Is he married yet? No. Let's see, County of Isidon. 
the Welsh principality of this. It's 4, 1,400. We take it. We take it. That's okay. It's no Alba, but I'll take it in a pinch. What can you get us? Duchy of Poitiers. Where's this? Down here. That doesn't help us. Duchy of Minden doesn't help us. This helps us. I mean, we, we, we get hunchbacked, but... Something. And our troops are really diminished right now, so we're in a bit of a troublesome position without allies coming in. So we definitely need them to come in. Our new steward is gone. Ah, uh, shame. Let's put this guy in then. Okay, so everyone is joining, everyone is coming. Let's see. We could sell them off, or we could just fight them, or we could just get them in and be like, okay, you can come in and you can live here. But I think we're gonna go with never back to your frozen hellscape of a home scum. We should put on our crown while we say these things. So now our allies are coming. But I want to rest our troops a little bit longer. They're raised super quick. So we don't need to worry about that. Except that all our men at arms are kind of dead right now. Because we just lost them all in that failed botched raid. Let's see. Someone is trying to kill our high queen. What? My liege, my love, have you seen how majestic Dungal has become? He could have practically ruled this nation with one hand tied behind his back. I swear by the Lord, he would make you very proud. Of course, if there's anything I could do in order to make the idea more enticing, I'm sure he would let me know, and we could come to some sort of an agreement. Anything, she says. So, she will kill Collar, who's our rival. Uh, he can't be. He, he, uh, I'm interested in more useful courtiers. Do we send her to try and kill that dude? 50% chance she dies when they die. If she dies, that's a new alliance for us, you know. We're a little bit old for another wife, but... I am interested in more useful courtiers. I don't need anything from you. Mm. He's a monk. He can't have it. Okay, let's see. I'll go with this. Let's bring her some courtiers. What did you bring me? Oh, a ve oh okay. A good spy mistress or a very good steward. Financial skill on this one is through the roof. Let's have him then. Um, let's see. Look, we both know this isn't right. Okay, we could imprison her. Um, or we get him as our designated heir, which we can't. Your capacity to scheme concerns me, my dear, so we imprison her. As I have a fair reason, no one will think me a tyrant. <laughs> yeah. Don't scheme against me, woman. Okay, there the enemy comes. And none of our allies are anywhere close yet. So, um... Good. We're 100% absolutely going to lose this one. I mean, I'm, I'm not being fair. Some of our allies are here already. 
Okay, how about we fight in the hills, maybe? Okay, wait. This is hills. Maybe we fight with some more troops, eh? My god, we're gonna get crushed so hard. No, we're actually winning. We're actually fighting the back. Good defensive position. We invested in skirmishes. Okay, we learned about his non-believer secret. I don't care. I don't care. I really don't care. Being raided in the north. That's not great. We go fight that and we immediately enforce our demands here. So he pays us nothing. But he also gets nothing. So we get some prestige out of it. Fair enough. Let's go kill some raiders. Honestly, no. A call to war. What do you want? Conquest in the earldom of Annandale. Okay. Alright. Let's raise our troops right there. Should be quick. And we'll just head these off. Why is this a balanced battle? Excuse me. They're like 900 troops. How's this balanced? In what way? So we defeated him. But I think we defeated him before he had gotten anything. So now we are an arch architect. That doesn't matter much for what we're doing. Like, It's a good thing, but we're not building much. So being an architect really doesn't help us all that greatly. Now, who are we even fighting? Them. A good daughter. Thank you. <laughs> okay, apparently we're running after this enemy army. Okay. Did that give me any participation? No. Great. So we go siege something, maybe. Maybe we get some participation that way. Oh right, he already has no no he's he has full war score from siege uh, from fights. So even if we are in a battle with him, that's not gonna help us. It's not gonna change anything. Let's get the siege guide in. Quicken this a little bit. Oh look at that. Our granddaughter is going raiding. Cute. Grandbaby's first raid. So are we getting participation now? Yes, okay. We're pushing the the siege here, even if we don't win it. So he becomes a thrifty clerk. Good for him. Let's check our court here. This guy needs to be replaced by the guy that we got. This guy. 26. I'm not... I'm not letting that go to waste. Okay, so we're not getting that siege done, but at least we contributed something. So we get something out of it. And maybe he'll even let us finish the siege before he finishes the war. Nope. So what did we get? 38 prestige and a little bit of opinion from the man. So if we wait a little bit for our troops to replenish more... We can actually go raid England, because we have more troops than them. Could of course raid the whole coast, but... England is closest. We could go straight for their capital as well. 21 gold right there. Another thing can be sponsored. Inspiration. Want to go to Southern Europe? Sure, bring me something. Bring me something good. Enjoy your trip. We need more stuff to hang in our courtroom. I actually quite like how it looks. Pretty cool. 
They do depend on culture and everything. Oh, there's some ransoms to be paid. You want to give me 78 gold to free your mother. I mean, yeah, sure. Let's go. What do we have here? Mm. Artwork that makes me wish I was there. Sure. Let's go with that. Maybe that's something we can hang. On the wall. I mean. Another inspired person can be sponsored for a weapon this time. She's considered a master by her peers. 105 gold. We'll take it. <laughs> something that can pierce flesh. Let's see. A dagger, a sword. An axe, a hammer, a mace. I will just trust her judgment. She's a master after all. Okay. We're getting closer to finished. All our men at arms are back in, so... I think... I'll raise all there. Cat is still keeping the place rat free. Lovely. Um, adventure inspiration gets one. Oh god. So this is the best option really, I think. Ah, one progress. Okay, so... Raider. Raider. Now we combine you guys, and then we go attack England. Because we need money. <laughs> Clearly. And we're just gonna go straight for the capital here. We're gonna lose some troops along the way. We must stop the villain behind that. We just can't stop anywhere here. That's basically all. Let's see. King Kuzatin becomes our friend. Yeah. Let's let's uh impress him. Doesn't really matter much because we're very close to death. But having friends is always great. If you can, try and get friends. Slightly lower quality, we go with that. I just read what's in there, the better option I take. Artifact, higher quality, we gain new forge. Yeah, sure. We're about to raid the English. Okay, he's raising his armies to fight us, so he has a... He has a high chance of winning that. So we will immediately run away very bravely. And go far away. Actually. Let's see how far he follows us. <laughs> oh no. Bona died, so no inspiration from her. We funded that for no point, for no reason. Aww. Our child gives us 20 gold. She knows we need it. Alright, very good. We made it back. So now we just go back and do the same thing again. This army might still be out there, but we'll see. Do we throw more money at her inspiration? I mean, she is... She's really good. Building an axe. I think we'll do. That's what we got the money for, after all, isn't it? Okay, let's get our, our raider in. Yeah, he just stood on his armies. A big mistake, my friend. Big mistake. You should have seen this coming. I am back at it again. Okay. I don't see his armies at the moment. So we'll keep pushing our luck a little bit. Still don't see an army being raised. And enough luck being pushed. Back we go. Ah, there they come. And we might as well just skip across the pond back to the island. <laughs> Irish raiders are a nuisance, trust me. Yes, let's see the charity they can muster. What's this? No man imprisoned. I have many friends, but the gifts are few. My guest throws his instrument aside. Enough of Lokyaman. This bereft of all comforts. This song will be my plea for aid through this unhappy captivity. 
Some small funds, should my people still care about me. Um, we teach him his place. Let's see what they can muster. Now we go with this. He becomes loyal. Okay. Um, sh that was very expensive for what we got. It's not terrible, but... Prowess plus four enemy fatal casualties plus six percent. I mean, that's pretty... That's definitely something, but... Uh. Ah. Have you stood down your troops again? So the deeper we go, of course, the, the more dangerous it gets for us. Oh, no. Do we want Snow's pelt to hang on the wall? I don't want to skin my cat and put it in the wall. Let's... Nah, we'll miss him. That's what we're gonna do. We'll miss him. Hello, England. Nice to be back. I see you stood on your troops. That's a great choice. I would have made a similar choice. Thank you for your hospitality and goodbye. Impressive. Why would I want to beast town? Nah. I have no need for more dogs. I'm mainly rejecting this because we're very old. And chances are that we're gonna die soon. So... Character-specific perks and bonuses at this point... They don't really matter me much. So I'm not gonna take that. Let's see. What else have you got for us? Could try this again. I mean, there's some nice bits and pieces in there. I will just try. I mean, so far they haven't really, they haven't really done anything about what we're doing. They've chased us once, but that's really it. Our nephew and champion. Um, yeah, we'll just put him in. It's fine. Can ransom our Queen Elizabeth. Well, oh no, that's Queen Elizabeth, the English Queen. Sure. I'll ransom her to you. So that's what we got from uh, raiding here. We just took his queen, kidnapped her. Okay, so our daughter is an intricate web weaver, which is pretty good. So we can actually get her on that post here. And having our daughter sit there is pretty good because she likes us anyhow. So that's why you would want to give your female children this option and educate them that way. Our troops are now starving, so let's bring them back home. If only we're here... To say it with me. Ah, we're thinking of our dear son who died. Remember the death of Krum the male. Ah. The pain. The tears. The suffering. You pay me a hundred gold to get your child back. Sure, I'll take it. Okay, so England is raising its troops behind us. I'm good with that. We are very much starving hard, so we need to go back home and stand down. 5% attrition every month. That's a lot. Break it up, everyone. 5% chance of getting the firm hand perk. That's from one of those skill trees. Oh, we have been raiding England nicely. Gotten a good amount of gold out of it from ransoming prisoners. Can designate a guardian for our daughter. 
Let's do it ourselves. Why not? Powerful vassals expect some positions. So now this is generally kind of important. But none of these by themselves are really much of a threat. So I'm not too fussed about it. And we turn down the speed again. Because right now I'm not really waiting for anything to happen quick. And there's always a chance that something goes wrong. Now taking one of these places would be lovely. Or at least a bit of it. Because that gives us even more room to raid across England. Uh, let's hold court while we're still alive. <laughs> Bring everyone in. Thank you. First petitioner, please. Okay. Starts working on a cadastral survey. It will take several months to be completed. I mean, we have the money. Let's go do that thing. We appoint Dunal as our bodyguard. I mean, he's decent enough. He has been doing great for us, so... I think... Yeah, let's... Let's make him our bodyguard. Let's give him a wife as well. Come on. He has served us well. He can have her. Let's see. What's going on? My lord, I'm, uh, I'm sure someone in the king was trying to harm my son. I have no evidence. <laughs> but I suspect the chieftain. Malice is not a crime in itself, Sebastian. I'm not just... People are like, oh, no, someone's trying to kill someone. Where's the evidence? So I do want to take something here. Just gives us more leeway. And if we take it around here, that's also pretty good. Because we prevent other things from expanding a little bit. Especially like Mercia and these places are pretty strong. So how many troops do you have? 1,000. So we can take you ourselves for the whole duchy. Yeah, we'll go for, for this. We have to walk a long, long way to get there. But he has zero allies right now, so we'll do that. Raise all our army there. Uh, exotic arms. We could become the owner of a fine warhammer. Now we just had a weapon. A fine warhammer could just be better than what we got, but... Okay, we're gonna lose a bunch of troops going down there. Because we can't sail yet. We've got another guest here that's pretty good. Let's get him in. Mutual alliance with Earl Hunts. Sure, I'll take it. And can we upgrade at home? We, we can and we definitely should. So let's build a gathering hall, maybe? No. I mean, the prestige is pretty nice that we would get, but... What do we have Station Heavy infantry, skirmishes... Now let's build markets. We want some money. Can't upgrade that. I should have spent more of that. Costs a lot of prestige as a tribal, and prestige you take to your grave. No one inherits your prestige. Gold well spent. So, development increases in every held county by 35. Okay. And we get some prestige out of it. So the enemy was looking to defend. Let's put in a siege master to speed that along. Doesn't cost a lot. Now we will resist our foul impulses and we're going to have a feast. While we're sitting around here. Let's do that. And we'll do that here. Because we have gathering halls there. And... I don't need the prestige so we'll leave that down. And the opinion gain, we don't really need. Let's put an honorary guest in there. 
our friend, the King of Alba. Let's start that feast for 56 gold. I can't wait, yes. So we have to walk to our own feast because we don't have any gathering halls at home. We just gotta wait for our guests to arrive. And now while we're sieging, I do tend to speed up the game once, but be mindful if anything attacks you, be sure to stop that. Okay, you wanna... My nephew and Chancellor, it will result in no alliance. Okay. Why do you want that marriage? Fine. Don't ri don't rightly understand why he wanted that marriage. It didn't give him anything. Everyone's there for our feast. Let's go. This is where I want to be. Down with the stress. And something about a child heritage, some bastard boy or girl or whatever. Who knew cutlery could be so sharp? What's going on? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Stop that. We gain the trait murderer. We deflect the knife. Uh. Okay. I will deflect the knife. Maybe he dies. No, he didn't die. He was wounded, though, in our feast. Good stuff. And he has a disputed heritage. Oh, no. Let's toast our highly esteemed guest of honor. All that's done. So since we're shy, no extra stress relief bonus, sadly. But such is life. So this siege isn't going all that well. That's taking forever. I think what we need is now siege material. If we want to attack there, we need to work towards Onaga. Everything else doesn't really matter. So we'll switch our fascination here. And push push, push towards siege weaponry. Because the, the bigger castles and stuff, they're going to take a lot more work to take down. Seven months. I mean maximum, but, but still. It's a lot of time here. Spent right in the trenches. We can ransom Lord Bride. I don't think he means anything to this war. No, he doesn't, so we'll just take the 50 gold from that. Could demand payments. Now, demanding payments costs us nothing. We just get money. So, it is sensible to do so. And I just saved his life. So, might as well get some money out of it. I know I can create an accolade. But maybe I should, actually. You are a... All of you fight, please. Stop being not warriors. Come on now. Let's create an accolade. Let's see. Our best knight goes first. So, Valiant. Army damage plus 10%. Wow, okay, that's big. Stalwood. Travel safety. That doesn't really matter. Could get Contender instead. Husty looter. Nah. Let's see what else can we get. Pike Captain and Vanguard. Heavy Infantry. Toughness. Oh, he can be a lot. Marauder. Monthly Prestige per Dread. Dread Pain. Uh, technician. Monthly Martial Lifestyle Experience for the Leash. I'll take that for sure. Tactician and... Red New Pikeman. Pike Captain. Spearman. Okay. A Silver Arm. Sure. Create that. And there's a follower there. A successor to it. So that's good. So the accolade basically what it does is one of your knights 
will hold that. And as long as they hold it, you get all those uh, nice little bonuses that we just saw. Oh, yeah, good. Raid, raid my enemy. I don't care. That's... Okay, so this... This army here is a... This fort is very strong. We will get progress, but it will be very slow. So enemy is fighting um, the raiders here, which is good for us. I'm not going to abandon my attack on his fort. But he's slightly weakened. Well, more weakened than before. Honestly, we're going to take the fight because we're already pretty far ahead in terms of uh, war score. So maybe fighting him again might just push us over. There we go. So now we've taken all these titles here. Let's disband the army. And let's check. We have two duchy titles. That's fine. They're going to go away. Anyhow, so... This child here will get the High Chiefdom of Munster. Oh, wait, no. He still has that title, doesn't he? Where's that title? Who has that? Okay, yeah, we could usurp it. For 250 gold. It uh, doesn't really matter. Like, I don't... Do I need it? I mean, they don't think I'm their rightful leash, so maybe we should usurp it. Let's go. Let's usurp that. Costs us some gold. A lot of gold. <laughs> but now we are their rightful leash. So that helps a little bit. And they all really, 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 really hate us. <laughs> Every one of these. Uh, one of them is... One reason is we have too many duchies. We can only have two duchies ever. You can have a lot of counties, depending on how much you can hold as a holding, but you can't have more duchies than that. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to give him... Um, we're just going to grant him... This... And the high chiefdom. Basically. he He inherits it anyway... So might as well give it to him immediately. So now these guys are going to hate us slightly less. But since we hold the du jour duchy. What does that even mean? Why is your problem with me holding a du jour duchy? Okay. We're growing a little bit old, I think. <laughs> So let's go and integrate this title here. So it becomes a du jour part of Ireland. It's going to take forever to do. But it's kind of important to have that done. Because these vassals will con continually try and get the independence. Yeah, she can remain gregarious. Because if you're not their rightful liege, they want to be free. I think that's kind of fair, but... Obviously, we try to avoid that, so we're pushing for some other directions there. So, uh, let's see. Chains of loyalty, scheme power, domestic affair efficiency. Let's go for more learned language. I mean, we're really, really old, so... I don't know if it makes some sense to even try and learn another language, but if there is one here... No, there isn't. Well then, let's go learn French. Might as well. So now we have all these lovely lands here. Culture changes to Irish. I do not care. The peasants' feelings are relevant. I am the rulers. Mm. Local traditions disrespected. From old culture speed, minus 75%. That's fine. Let them keep their traditions. I don't want to convert them to Irish. So let's get another flag here. And... We'll raise local raiders, I think. That's a nice little raiding army. 26 gold. Oh, look at that. He doesn't have enough to fight us anyway, so we can just raid through here 
to our heart's content. Where's our raider? There. So we'll just take all of what he has. We'll just take all of what he has. What now? It's because I have a truce with him? That might be it. Let's see. Let's try. They are raiding. They are set to always raid where they stop. Here we are raiding. They do have a bunch of armies, so they might fight us here. Okay, I think we can't raid them because we have a truce with them. Let's get all the coastline stuff. We got these lovely, lovely ripe targets all the way here. Another daughter. Good god. Can we get another Earldom of Desmond? That's Irish, alright. French, 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 French. Ah, uh, let's just get this guy because he's intelligent. Get some good, good stuff in our family here. Let's see, what can we Spencer sponsor? Wait, didn't you die? I'm not sending another blind woman on this. What do you want? Successful wound treatment? Yeah, guards force this man to treat his wounds. Why do I have to force people to treat their wounds? It's crazy. So then we're gonna skip over into here. They're definitely gonna raise their troops to fend us off. <gasps> oh, what's this? Kingdom of Wessex. Uh, we gain the Rage for Ireland artifact. Thank you, my friend. I will keep it close. So this artifact is a... What is that? It's actually a trinket. I mean, it's a little bit renowned, a little bit prestige. I'm not mad about that. We have almost nothing, so anything we can get is good. It's 57 gold. Okay, we can't hold that much anyway. I think we go here, there, and then back. Okay. 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 Okay, we're gonna get killed. Ah! Too greedy. <laughs> too greedy again. Too few troops, too greedy. Completely wasted a lot of gold here. Oh, that's a big shame. How much did we lose? 92 gold. Oh, that hurts so much. I am pained. Deeply, deeply pained. <sighs> Darn. Okay, we're, we know that we are soon dead. We can see it up there. So these guys are all terribly excited about working for us. <laughs> Let's put this guy in. He's good at his job. He just kind of hates us. There's some internal strife. And we can't raid here. Let's get some of our money back from him. And immediately we take them. And we captured the Earl's wife. Stand on these. We can station a man at arms regiment. Yes, we can. Who can we ransom? 25 25. 10 10. I do take the big ransoms, but the ones that are also kind of full, you know? So once you get close to death, this kind of pops up. Used to be this was only with a perk. But at the moment... Um, this is always happening. So at this point you would try and get your affairs in order. Try and make sure that your heir is... In a great position and all that. And he's currently fighting and losing. Can we do something about that? Can I help you? Offer to join war. 
Uh, he's fighting a peasant faction. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I'm just waiting to die now. <laughs> 77 out of 100. Tension alliance negotiations. Okay, so our heir is uh, done and he is a gray eminence now. So he's the best possible outcome for his uh, education that he can be. But he's also imprisoned right now. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's ransom him out. <laughs> Good deal. And uh, he was de deposed, I think. Yeah. A faction was created against us. Dissolution faction. Eh, well. Sure. Pay me money. Get your people back. We'll do the same here. 81 gold. That's still that's still plenty. But I'm not great at at, um, at raiding at the moment, honestly. Should we pardon our nephew or imprison him? Okay, we can't imprison him. Disparate tribes. The tribe law does not allow it. Could transfer our vassal here, our granddaughter, to him. Nah, 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 nah. We'll see. There's probably a lot we need to do after succession. So... There we go. Oh god, let me stop the game. Good god. We have died. Let's see. High King Riyakan of Ireland rests in the arms of the Lord at 75 years of age. He died of old age. A keen and dedicated hunter, he loved to spend entire weeks in the wilderness looking for the most elusive game. I think we went hunting once. <laughs> but it's better than never. High King Sebastian ascends to the throne and accomplished diplomat vassals and foreign rulers alike are sure to respect him. So now we will be High King Sebastian of Ireland, age 16. And we need to take care of a bunch of things. So every time there is succession, you want to make sure you put everyone properly on the proper thrones. On the proper positions there. So this guy's good. Let's get him there. Uh, this guy endorses us, but he couldn't endorse us more, so we're gonna go start swaying him. We do not have a wife yet. Let's try and negotiate some alliances with the people that we were allied before. Like Scotland, cannot. Good. Then we uh, pick a path in life. We'll go with the diplomacy path because we're really good at it. And, uh, let's see. So some of these are really, 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 really good. Family focus, fertility, diplomacy plus two. Nah. Maybe prestige, majesty focus. How much prestige are we earning right now? Oh, we have minus five, a hundred and... Okay. No, no question we go for majesty. We need to get out of that prestige hole there. And we have a lot of diplomacy as it is, so extra is cool, but... I think the prestige helps us a little bit more at this very moment here. Okay, now, let's see. We can negotiate an alliance inside the realm, we'll do that. Uh, so that guy doesn't start any sort of faction against us. Potential alliance negotiations inside the realm. He won't accept. He won't accept. Okay, let's check through our many, many siblings. If there's anyone we can still betroth to try and get an alliance going. Okay. Our sister and friend. Let's see. Alliance power. The Kingdom of Bavaria. The Kingdom of Wessex. Yep, yep, yep. I uh, will take that. 
They're not super, super powerful, but they're powerful enough. And they're close, you know? They can actually help. And we're gonna take... I don't know. The older prince, so she has a chance of having a child. He needs to be 16, so that's plus... 9 years. She will be... 25 by then, so she can still have children. So we'll go with this. He's not going to accept matrilineal, but that's fine. Doesn't need to be. Uh, let's see. One day I will be like you. I'm glad I was such a famous father. So, monthly prestige minus 25% or stress gain goes up. I think we'll try and follow in his footsteps. I recorded myself. We gain a memory of Duke Zachariah artifact. Okay, sure. Recording a memory. Some moments must be recorded forever. The time that my dethronement war against Duke Zachariah ended in defeat is one of them. Might be a painful memory, but some time has to pass. <laughs> okay. So the war that we just witnessed where he got kicked out of his duchy. Uh, he's writing about it now. Actually, we, we retain quite a bit more than I figured we would. That's quite interesting. Okay. So that's one internal alliance ready. I'm a little bit scared of uh, factions. <laughs> Let's see, what do we want? A feline hunter. I'd say this is one successful red hunter. Oh yeah, I'd love another cat. I mean, what do I mean another? Why don't you take the cat? I mean, we could give him the cat, so he kind of hates us, right? No. Thank you. Thank you for the cat. Bye. <laughs> if you can get a cat, always get a cat. Okay, now we can get the memory of Duke Zachariah. Tom retells the story of when he, High King Sebastian of Ireland was defeated in his dethronement war against Duke Zachariah of Munster. And he created himself. So it gives us some prestige, some development growth, grandeur bonus, which is nice, and a little bit of opinion. Uh, levy contribution from certain muscles. It's not a great artifact by any means, but it's fair enough. So let's check our... Who are we betrothed to? Ah, yeah. Mittens is a great name. I think we'll take that. So, once the betrothal is through, we'll get that alliance, but I think we'll just break the betrothal. They're gonna hate us for it, but it doesn't really matter to us. We're gonna try and find someone better. <laughs> Let's go with alliance power. Kingdom of Bavaria, Barcelona, France, Germany, Lyon, well, East Francia, excuse me. Can we go with Scotland again? Okay, no, they don't have anyone for that. England is getting a little bit dented here. I mean, maybe with France then. Princess Adeline, Princess Giselle. They're very, very young. Yeah, I think we'll go with the Princess Giselle. We have to make it a grand wedding, so he accepts. But that's a lot of money. So will you give me this one without? Yes, but she is... Four years, so we have to wait, wait 12 years to get a possible heir. That's actually not, not acceptable. Let's go Alliance Power again. These are all so young. Duchy of Barcelona. Eight years. <sighs> we'll take it. Can we eight, wait eight years? I think we might need to seduce someone <sighs> during that time. See, 
there anyone here? 27. Well, sister. That's not really sister. <laughs> We're looking for courtiers, not sisters, please. Okay. I mean, there's one. Her, sort of. Let's try and seduce her. Maybe we can get ourselves a bastard. Okay, but while we're waiting, we don't have a truce with these anymore. We only have a bunch of alliances sitting around here. So, um... Raiding time. We for sure need it. Honestly, we can't even get any allies right now because we have zero prestige. Negative prestige. Let's go on a hunt. Earn us some prestige. Where should we go? Forest. I will go down there. My father hunted there. I shall hunt there. And we have a bunch of good Karen masters. Let's put someone in who doesn't die tomorrow. Our champion there. And we'll put this... Nope. We'll put this up. And... Now we keep it all equal, I think. Increase the success chance. Mm. We need the prestige. Yeah, we'll do that. And we want to slay the beast. More prestige. Let's go. Can't wait. Okay, can I get your stuff now? Is this allowed now? Okay, we can speed up again. In case there is a rebellion, we're kind of dead in the water. <laughs> Let's burn the magnificent battle axe. Surely Mirian troops knows how to treat frostbite. Uh, how about a treatment in a manuscript ones? So... 61% chance. I'll go with this. Nope. Herbert's frostbite remains unchanged. Shame. Okay. Finally we can raid these guys here. Okay. Let's get out there. Peril mild. Prestige mediocre. Success chance decreases. Now we go out there. It's fine. Why is no one in this raid? Why is no one in this in this hunt with us? We've taken some prisoners. Yeah, he's the best candidate. We need anything that gives us prestige, basically. 35. Oh, God. Get out of my forest. Okay, what's going on here now? Gain stock to Medicus. Get back on your holes. Gain some stress. So, something... I don't need to explain everything that's happening. The thing is, very few things will really derail your game. We don't want to take the perilous option because we might die or something. So if there is a chance that you die, try avoid it. If there's an option that doesn't give you stress but increases what you're trying to do, very good. We confront the shooter. Um, there is no clue. Someone shot an arrow at us, but we don't know who it was. Watch this. Strike through. Now everyone loose. Okay, I'll go with this. High chance of it going well. We get some stress, we lose some stress. We're here for the prestige. That's how you do it. Okay, we, we slew the thing, I think. We completed Slay the Beast. So now we get all this and we got a lot of prestige and we're kind of safe again. Um, mounted head, 
My guests will see its majesty. Yeah, we'll do that. So we also get the wild rose skull. We finish our hunt. And we're out of the hole with our prestige problem. So people now respect us because we killed a wild animal. Isn't that just the human condition? So let's put that thing up on the wall so it can start generating its bonuses for us. And we're back home. And we can hold court. And a lot of other things are happening. <laughs> Okay, do we attack them? I mean, yeah, you have nothing. So we can absolutely take what you got. And we just kind of march through all this. They, must, they might still try and fight us, so make no mistake. Just because you have more troops doesn't mean they won't come. But there's a river here, so if he does come, we're fairly, fairly sure of potentially winning this. Let's hear some petitioners. Control in the level... Okay. Curious idea. Let's try it. We could... What? Please, we can organize ourselves without all the death. Okay, sure. Let's go. Let's see. This hero. You shall be honored as a hero before all. Seventy-five gold I give him. Honored frontier hero. Okay, so we're going to kick out Lord Bride, which I don't care about, so... All vassals of us lose 10 opinion of us, that's probably not great. <laughs> Every champion loses some opinion of us if we let him join the court, but he's really good. You shall be rewarded. Come join the court, my boy. Um, okay, so, sure, talk to me, stress me out with your talking, you, my boy, you and I, we shall be fast friends, maybe, <laughs> so our court grandeur is pushed back up due to the court event, let's see, we have a lot of gold left to take with this army, And so we shall. A new commander was promoted. Very good. Join the court. You organize the army. I would like to lose less money while we get money. Of course, the commander that we just got was because he was promoting commanders and training commanders. So you might improve the ones that you have and he might also present you with new ones to bring in. 12, 0, 14. So we go here, and we go there, and then maybe we go here. Are we definitely going to bring some home? We have some ransoms here, very good. I'm fine with that. You can create a duchy. I don't care about that. We're not going to do that. So I'm pretty impressed with this. Like, There's no faction right now that's going to jump down our throat anytime soon. There's 15 gold to be had. There's 7 we're walking through anyway. Might as well take that and then take the other thing. They have a bunch of soldiers, but they're not going to fight us. We are quite overwhelming in numbers, so we can take these two and then we can go back and then maybe we go attack a little bit more of his because he costs us so much money I might just get everything he has just fully raid him down really make him regret settling here curse his ancestors for their poor choice in living arrangements we could also attack them again, but they are actually quite strong, I must say. Must admit that. Okay, let's bring in the loot. 
150, uh, 76 gold is nothing to scoff at. Can we upgrade this? War declared. Northern army, Duchy of Connacht. Great. So these are going to keep happening. That's something I don't think is great about Ireland. But it's generally a problem during this era. So let's bring in our allies. Hopefully someone can come. Stand on our troops here. Takes them three months to reconstitute somewhere. So... We'll defeat the invaders the old-fashioned way. So they're coming for all of this here. That's a problem, if i ever seen one. So let's start raising our troops. It'll take a while for them to come together anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Of course, Wessex is coming immediately. I don't know if uh, Barcelona can even get here. Oh yeah, they're coming. I don't know why I can't get on ships, but they can. That's a little bit odd. What do I need to be able to go on ships? I feel like it's some sort of cultural thing. Brave unfettered spirit. What's going on here? Oh yeah, that's how we we're trying to seduce her. Incre irresistible charisma. I mean, she's she's all kinds of weird stuff, so... Yep, that worked. She liked that. So 8,000 Northmen are now coming in. With levies and... Yep. The same composition as always. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome. Uh, so, we got... Um, what's this? An in interruption. Hi, good evening. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good time. Should maybe... Throw in chat. Yeah, there we go. There you are. All right. How come she's no trouble? Yeah, it's just about the cat again. So, something we might consider for this little war is mercenaries. We have... Oh, mercenaries are very expensive. Oh, there you go. We have money. We can do that. But we definitely need our troops. Our allies. Can we get more allies? I don't think so. I think we've exhausted all this. Can't negotiate here either. So, um, what do we do? Yeah, we'll have to see whether or not our troops, together with our allies' troops, are going to be a match for the Northmen. The troops from Barcelona are coming up. So together, we, we should be fairly formidable, I think. Let's see where they land, here. And then we just go north and march there and hope for the best. I mean, it's, yeah, together we have enough troops, I think. Why is this guy... Oh, he is our current commander. I was wondering, why isn't this guy our commander? He should be our commander. He's great. Maybe? Okay. Alright. I'm... I'm ah. You can see how our allies are completely wondering about. That sometimes happens. But we should be fine here, winning this. I hope. Like, we built our army a little bit to counter their troops' composition, but... It's not a lot. I mean, Northmen, yes, almost pure peasant levies, but do not underestimate the Huskarls. Like, they're actually really good. So, we managed. Thank goodness. I mean, one way to deal with them is just go attack them, but we can't cross water still. So, we can't really go here and do anything like that. Because we, we don't know how ships work. We're Irish. We've never heard of a ship before. So, okay. Uh, okay. Outside and shine up my night. How does... She, where does she become our lover? We'll take this. Up I go. 
We take this extra opinion, extra smoldering chemistry. Sounds good. Right, okay. So let me check our innovation things again because why can't we go on, on, on boats? Ah, we got awkward interactions. Okay, she's not into it. There's nothing here that allows us to go on boats, is there? No, none of these are about going on boats. Do we need to build like a port or something? Could upgrade our, our palisades. Maybe should. They're not great, but... Or is only feudal allowed to go on ships? Like, I find that still a little bit confusing. And I think we're gonna go raid Mercia. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let, let me... We'll raise everyone again. Because we're gonna go raiding anyway. And I'll show you. Oh, now I can. Huh? Oh, okay. I can't raid across the sea. I can go on boats. I just can't raid across the sea. All right. That's the difference. Uh, raiding across the sea, that is the privilege and joy of the Northmen. <laughs> that is not for us, Irish soldiers. No, no. We put in the raiding guy. The raiding guy who has been raiding for us for... Over a century now. Yeah, I was just so confused because I only ever tried to go on boats with our raiders. So I figured, okay, maybe it's a technology thing, but no, it really isn't. Okay, we failed in seducing that girl. So no, no air for us anytime soon. And we'll just raid all of Mercia. Mercia earlier, they cost us around... 97 gold or something in loot because I made some foolish choices. So now they have to suffer I'm fine with some casualties along the way. That's fine I'm not going there anymore. They kind of beat me last time. I tried this Well, actually might just go there just for you know revenge sakes, but they don't have a lot Well 16 and 19 gold is not nothing Let's let's lose more troops I do not play with any mods, no. This is just all DLC base game, basically. Okay, I want the befriend thing. It doesn't really matter. I want the befriend thing. Anything else doesn't really matter here. Everything is cool, but befriend is, is the one I take. It's the, it's the lowest and the best one here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna befriend everyone in our court, basically. First things first. Always the people who hate us most, basically. Do you ever play with mods? I never, I never done it. Even not in Crusader Kings 2 either. I just do like how the game is, basically. And I'm already annoyed enough with how the uh, the save games tend to break between updates for the base game. <laughs> I don't need to add to that. Oh, look at that. 29 gold. Right next to the English army, but... It's 29 gold. And the English are not our allies right now, so... Okay. Let's immediately get out of there. I just want to get that little morsel. Thank you. Oh, wait. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't want to walk through this army. I just want to get back in here. Let's see. How much? Go well, 124 out of 333. 33? Three, three? It's good enough. Losing more troops along the way. Okay. Cat rejection. Well, I'm supposed I'm not her favorite. Well, I'm not. What can I say? Cat likes other people more than me. You gotta roll with punches sometimes. Luckily, we have our raiders. Our raiders are true to us. So, in the past, I've gotten burned on the raiding because I got too greedy. But at the moment, we are quite fine, I think. Because we are only raiding places where there aren't any troops to counter us anyway. 
But we need to be careful a little bit because the weaker we get, the bolder the enemy might become. So let's get the big prizes and then maybe dip out. Now we're taking some prisoners, so maybe there's some gold here as well. A little bit. We'll take it for sure. And then next we go for this thing. Proper. Ah, our court physician died. No. Watch me open 15 tabs. You kind of like mods. The game gets boring for you after a while. It feels like the same events every time. Yeah, I... Okay, yeah, I get it. I mean, that's probably the best use of mods, honestly. Just uh, for... Our sister and friend. Poor. Our brother. Yeah. I think that's possibly one of the better options for mods, but... I don't know. I don't mind too much. I like the the ability and the chance to just kind of go autopilot. After a while, like once you figured out the game, you can just go autopilot, go through all these events because you know them. You kind of know what what's gonna happen, and that way it's kind of easier. I think if I were to worry every single time about an event chain, I don't know if I would enjoy the game as much as I do. Because this is fairly pleasant. Life is difficult enough. <laughs> Plus, what I'm trying to do anyway is getting people in here and on my YouTube channel as well and get them into the game. So I'm trying to explain it on Vanilla as well. So no one needs to go install mods or something to follow along what I'm doing. CK3 has such a huge potential, but it still feels like something compared to CK2. Yeah, that's that's a fair point, and I feel similar. Not exactly the same. Um, okay, let's try and not go through somewhere where we lose troops, because right now we're at the limit of what we can have. And if we lose more people, then this limit goes down and we lose money, basically. Betrothed can marry. Betrothal fulfilled. Very good. So now we're allied with Alba again. And we just brought home a good bunch of loot. Let's stand down our army so they can recoup a bit. I think what's missing from Crusader Kings 2 is mainly the breadth of everything. There's just more to everything. Every mechanic has more going for it, kind of. But then again, we have mechanics that we don't have in Crusader Kings 2 as well. And well, I'm curious about what they're going to do with it. But uh, I don't think we're going to see Crusader Kings 3 grow into the same amount of stuff as Crusader Kings 2 became over time. I haven't played Crusader Kings 2 in a really, really long time, but I've really played it a lot. When they announced Crusader Kings 3 and they had these events... Um, I don't quite remember what they called it, but they had these specific, um, these specific, uh, I, w I won't say achievements, but goals, basically, where they were like, okay, go kill, uh, go win the game as doing that. They were phrased as achievements, and you could unlock cosmetics for CK3, basically. I played all those, I made all those, I have all those on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Um, how we got through them. I, that was really fun. I, I enjoyed that. It was a nice farewell to Crusader Kings 2. I did a lot of things that I never did in Crusader Kings 2. Um, so that's pretty cool. The world shall remember him as my father. Extra prestige gain. Uh, yeah. Sure. I won't be remembered as his son. They will remember him as my father. That's a very cool perspective, honestly. So should we take some more of England over here? Should we grow? I mean, that's a nice little thing. We're not illustrious yet. Ah, oh, God. So we could only go for a county? Uh, who wants to fight for a county? That's so sad. <laughs> and so little. 
We are so strong and so powerful. Speaking of which, we'll upgrade our tribal hold for sure. Our Marshal needs a new job. Oh yeah, you can have that. Let's get you a woman. You need to give us good, strong children here. The Duke would like to ransom himself. Well, let him. So, how much? How many hours have you on Crusader Kings 2 or 3? Or both? I always wonder. Like, I feel I have a lot of hours on 2 and a bunch of hours on 3, but... I know some people just really go big. Some sort of internal strife going on. What can you do? So we raided all of Mercia. How's England right now in strength? <laughs> Not very strong. So we could go raid them. Mittens charm the vassal all. Duke Zachariah gets 20 opinion of us. He hates our guts. Our dear brother. Can we befriend you? Zero percent. <laughs> Hey, Fusion Warrior, welcome back. So nice you could join us. Been a sleepy day. Five shown Pokemon. Nice, well done, congrats. Yeah, we started on Ireland. I haven't uploaded that to YouTube yet. This is the second stream on Ireland. Because I was done with the endless Holy Wars on the last one. We didn't really play that much. Maybe 600 hours on 3 and 802. More of a U4 player. Alright, that's fair, that's fair. I think it's... I have around 900 for CK2 and 250 or something for CK3. I don't have that much on EU4. Maybe 100. I did enjoy it, but um, I, I'm liking the personal diplomacy interactions much more in Crusader Kings 3 than I do on uh, EU4 on the state level. Though, but of all the Paradox games, EU4 and Crusader Kings are like my favorites. Then comes Stellaris, and then all the rest, basically. <laughs> That's where I stand. Oh god, why is all this so stressful? Um, friendship with Poe is... I'm gonna come for your stuff, my friend. Okay. So we have the worst possible combinations. We are compassionate, patient, and fickle. Fine, he has a he has a shirt and charm. Shirt, shirt, shirt and charm. No, I will deal with my stress other ways. Uh, so stress gain is super high right now. Let's go pet our cat. First thing, we pet the cat. Adopt special succession type. Oh, we could have elective succession because we are Irish. What is elective succession? No, I don't want an electish. Oh god, I don't like elections. EU4 into CK2 or 3. CK3 is the only game where I find single player more fun than multiplayer. Okay, yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. I never, I only ever played multiplayer with people who were playing together with me. Yeah, elective succession isn't really great. That's also why I never formed the Holy Roman Empire anymore. <laughs> 350 hours on CK3? Alright, nice. A mod that made EU4 into CK2 or 3. Oh, you mean basically the same type of game style but in that era? I would be up for that. Playing as King Louis the Fourteenth, as a Crusader King setup, but in that time, in in that time frame, man, that would be something. That would be something. But I think um, I haven't looked into DLC for U4 for for a while, but I believe there were a few DLC out there that did put a greater focus on the leaders, for example. You know. 
Like, I feel there was something about that. I, I don't quite remember what it was, but I feel like there was something. And I feel like there was something that probably was something. I wouldn't feel that way if it weren't so. Let's get our commander strain, maybe. Uh, we're still integrating that title there. These guys are unstationed. I don't even know if I have a spot for them. Oh, yeah, I do. Definitely put them there, then. We still have no siege weapon. And we definitely need to take care of our stress. So another hunt it shall be. Wait, no. No, hunt for prestige. No, 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 no. Feast. We'll have a feast. With our stolen money. <laughs> I'll do it up here. And... Who's the guest of honor? That dude who hates us. Who fought against us and won. Or we get our... Our heir and brother in here. Let's do that. He'll be our guest of honor. I don't need vassal opinion. That can go away. We save that money. I want prestige. I don't care about prestige. I want stress relief. That's what we go in here. What's the most fun place to start a new campaign? Um, hmm. Great question. Thank you. Let's see. That's a very good question. I think, honestly... You know what? I've played a lot of stuff around here. And something I really, really enjoyed was India. Like, surprisingly, I, I really enjoyed playing in India. So if you've never played in India, maybe start a new campaign there. Um, I wouldn't say it's maybe the most fun like, definitively or anything, but I really enjoyed playing in India. It's it's very detached from everything else. Like, your main problems are going to be up here. That's where you're going to have your struggles. Maybe the Arabians. Maybe the Mongols, but they don't tend to go that far down. But, yeah. Honestly, I think India is a really cool place to start. Maybe not super beginner friendly, because, okay, one thing that I need to point out uh, is, but that is true for most other cultures or religions that aren't Western. So something that always confuses me is the titles are named differently. So if we check, for example, like this uh, here, it's a county, but it's called the Shaikdom, right? Same in India. So if we go here and we click on that, it's a county, but it's a Tikana. So I found that super difficulty, uh, difficult when you play in a different place like that. In the pop-ups, when it's like, grant the blah 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 of something to someone, it doesn't tell you it's a county. It just says Tikana of something. I find that really confusing because I can never remember what is what. Like, this is a Tikana, this is also a Tikana, I don't know, is this, what is that, is this a county? Is that a city? I don't know, it's just... Those titles are a little bit confusing. Maharaja, I think that works, because, well, that's something kind of fairly well known, I believe. But then you have, um, the Raja, who's a duke, okay? And then you have, uh, um, Samantha, apparently, I don't know if that's even the way, yeah, okay. So, this is, I think, the, the greatest challenge here. And what the heck is Sokotra? Let's go find Sokotra. I don't know what you're talking about. Find title. Sokotra. Sokotra. Shaikdom of Sokotra. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. That's gonna be tough. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. 97 levies. Mind, we're 50 years in or something. We're 150 almost. 97. Yeah, okay, that's not a that's that's not a start. That's that's an end. <laughs> that's not how you start anything, that's how you end everything. <laughs> Let's learn some languages now. Nah, we want to befriend more people. That's more important. Let's see. Who do we befriend? 
Oh, spy mistress. Sure. Our sister and spy mistress. No chance to befriend her. Okay. 100% chance to befriend our knight. Our marshal and knight. Especially in the timestamp where it's Christian. What? That thing is Christian at some point? What? Okay, so you're being holy ward in like three minutes? Oh, our sister and spy master does become our friend. Even though it just said we have a 0% chance of that happening. Do we fight the thirst? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Okay, I don't know why would why anyone would do that to themselves. But, like, I think the problem is I always go like, ah, you can play anything anywhere. It's really, there's really no bad start. Okay, I didn't know about that thing. <laughs> that thing's a bad start. Let's see. Uh, closer to friendship. Stress relief. Let's go. We're taking it. 150 prestige. Halt. We will talk about this later. And so we shall. Diplomacy lifestyle perk. Let's see. Confidence. Each friend adds minus 50% stress gain. Children receive extra skill points. Doesn't matter to us just yet. We don't have children. <laughs> Plus, this is retroactively. So you can take that even if your children are 60 and they still get it. Also, there's a start where you are childless eunuch. Why is that a start? Like, you can't play a theocracy, but you can't play a childless eunuch? What? <laughs> Good God. How do you even find these things? Crazy. I'm a boring, boring, boring person. I'm just, oh, look at this little county in the middle of East Europe. Let's be that. I don't know anything about it. Let's be it and see where we can go. Look at that. The Empire of Carpathia has been created. Lovely. And you guys are like, oh, you can be a childless eunuch. That's crazy. <laughs> to our guest of honor, we toast. All right. Very good. Some extra stress relief. We're no longer overwhelmed by stress. That's what I like to hear. That's what we want. It's Munis of Akre. Okay. And yeah, don't give people wrong ideas now. Don't fabricate a legal air. I wanna even know how to start that. Like Marry a pregnant woman. Probably. <laughs> Find a pregnant woman, marry her. That's probably the way I would try. Um, or or a lustful woman, basically. If you get a lustful partner, th there's a high chance they're gonna go cheat on you. And they might still get pregnant, even if you can't get that yourself, basically. Back at home, very good. We haven't raided in a while. The English have already forgotten we're here. So... Maybe we go remind them. Let's see. Look at that. Look, they have already replenished for us. They have filled the... The little boxes back up. Oh god, England is super weak. 600 soldiers right now. Look at all this. Nice little loot they, they left here for us. That's fantastic. Oh, you have an inspiration, do you? Oh, he has a completed inspiration. Come on, let's get your wife now. You have served us so well for so long. You can have her. She's lustful. Enjoy something in your old age here. This is something that I really wish they would lean into more. The interactions with your court people. Like, if you could designate someone to be an important person and set yourself some goals, you know? Like, okay, I wanna... I wanna make sure that this person here gets the title because they did something cool for me. I wish that was more of a mechanical thing I could do. I mean, I can do that just fine, but... I wish it just were a little bit more baked into the game. 
Yeah, if you pick a random character, of course that might happen. You're, you're quite right. Maybe I need to amend my intros on new how to play campaigns. But this one specifically, I was like, okay, let's go with Ireland. <laughs> so there's no random factor here. Uh, we gain Cat Wrangler potentially, or we become wounded. Let's go for this. Oh no, you don't, you little. Nope. Ouch. Cat completely messed us up. But we got immediately healed up because our brother is an amazing healer. Kudos on us for shooting him to fulfill this very important role. Look at all those prisoners. Interesting. Game sighting. Good stuff. Should we go hunt the boar? Let's go. Where is that boar sighting in Erlech? Where is that? There. Oh, there's a lot of boar sightings around here. No holding wetlands forest, so this one is the best option. A wee bit dangerous though. Let's get us some mercenary guards. And let's get us some forest guide. And yeah, we'll take the big one and we want to slay the beast or befriend. Nah, we go slay the beast. We're a big hunter. We go big hunting. So we're not going to cross into Alba. France has lands here. Okay, but they have a lot of troops as well, so we're not going to go raid France. We're going to go raid England some more. Well, the English rebels, honestly, at this moment in time. 867 Northumbria start is always a new player champ right next to the beginner's island. Yeah. I don't know, if you take an Irish lad, you're still in a bit of a danger with all the Northmen around. So it's not super easy either. Cast down this heterodoxy now. We'll just ignore the shrine. We're here to hunt. Come now, surely you two can make amends. Let's try. We, we have a pretty high diplomacy skill, we should be fine. Nope. <laughs> we failed. <laughs> Someone left the entourage. Okay. Dangerous, but prestige is impressive. Let's go. We can always kill a vassal of ours instead of ourselves in danger. Let's see. Put it back. Yes. 45%. Uh, no, 45 stress release because we are compassionate and success chance increases slightly and 150 prestige. How do you not pick something that has so many green lines? Oh. Oh. Success chance decreases. Sure. Will she also come to court? Yes. Chance we lose seven gold. Okay. Now we have a lover in, in court. Very good. After it, we ride. Success chance increases. More perilous. Some stress. Because we're patient. Let's go. Okay, we need to keep raiding. Raiding is life. Okay, someone is shooting at us again. Let's try and find who it was. No clue. Let's see, I will bring it down myself. 40% chance we die. Do we dare? Do we dare click this? 14% chance we die. There's still 86% chance something else happens, but 14% chance we die. Our heir is currently our brother. 
who isn't a bad lad either. You know. Okay, let's. I'll. I'll try this. I bring it down myself. <gasps> we slew the boar. Nice. Uh, what's the hardest start I attempted? I don't know, honestly. I've played so many. <laughs> I can't quite remember. I'm I'm also throwing them together. Like, is it is it Crusader Kings two? Is it Crusader Kings three? Um. Now we'll mount this at home. Excuse me. I'm not giving this away. It's the best trophy we have so far, and I made it. I got it. Oh, we have a masterwork ring here. Seduce scheme power extra. So what do we kick out? Ah, uh, let's fight him. We win the fight, nice. Uh, and I think... Okay, we become friends, very good. Let's kick out one of these. Prestige... Uh... Okay, we kicked this one out, this is the worst. And then we destroy that as well. And let's get an antiquarian in here. Average skill and young. You can have it. Uh, I think the hardest start, I, I believe, not so much because of, the, of what the start is, but also because of what the start is, um, is still uh, Daurama Daura or Daura Daurama. I'm not quite sure which way it goes. But down in Africa, where you have to unite all of Africa while being a female leader with a certain religion and stuff. That one took me forever to get. Okay, do we walk through this army? Yes. Yes, we walk through this army. Maybe we put a better leader in. Okay, that was great. That was the wrong button entirely. Casper has left our court. Bye. Not sure why he leaves the court, just because we're back home. What does that say about leadership? Our leadership, in particular. <laughs> How do you know all these things? Her husband's lover has a murder scheme on you from the drop and you have a zero intrigue. How do you know this stuff? <laughs> just... Oh my god. All sorts of impressed every single time. Even if I knew these things, I just wouldn't remember them, I'm pretty sure. I have no... I just I, I pick them and I see what goes on, you know? Uh, trusting liege, inconsequential prattle, I'm sure. I shall write flans in at once. Okay, we might become rivals with one of our lads here. Sure, we'll try. Oh, okay. That's crazy. I, I tried it once, and I finished it. Like, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I think I started it more or less right after the release, so maybe that wasn't an issue then, but... I don't think I faced that at all. So, um... Shed of Fame Dusk, Shed of Fame Dawn... I don't know, there's still so much for me to achieve here. Ah, bye, brother. I will live forever. And it's Shadow. No, 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 no. We can, we can do this. We don't need to live in its shadow. And we haven't really expanded Ireland at all. And he created Ireland out of nothing, basically, so. Are you really gonna fight me? No, we're quicker than you. <sighs> I mean, counter killing is always a bit of a trouble, some Supposition. 
I have very little success with those kind of attempts, I must say. Okay, will Wessex send troops? Yes or no? I don't see any yet. And there's some rich holdings around here. This one specifically. So we'll be a little bit careful. Not too greedy today. It's always room for us to come back. I'll just get Glaucestshire. I think that's so rich because there's a city and a port and everything. Yeah. Forest of Dean Mining Settlement. That's where it comes from, I think. Okay. So they raise an army, but they immediately get bonked by someone else. So now we can go through uh, Deobirth. Take their stuff on the way back home. Let them quarrel in peace. Our sister and our sister. Yeah, let them. I ain't stressing about that stuff. Alright. That's looking decent for us. We might return with full coffers. For once. And not get destroyed in the mo in the way. I think all these are ours. Patroth can marry. Um... The region is not loyal enough to consent being married off. What? How is... What? What? This regent is not loyal enough to consent to being married off. What regent? What? No one here has a regent right now. What does that mean? Wait, is my sister my regent? Hmm? Um... What? <laughs> Where can I see my regent? What was this? There. That's not even her. I have no idea why this is not happening. Our cat is keeping the place rat free. Good on him. Them. Her. I don't know. Good cat. Anyway. Now we're stronger than this. We don't want to be a drunkard. Mostly feasible with a high entry start than your target, but if they are already trying to get you, they're a bad start, sure. The main thing generally is that, I don't know, my, my schemes just always get uncovered and even if I have like 100% secrecy or 95% secrecy, it's just, pff, they still find out somehow and it's just... It always works if no one suspects me to do it. Then it works. Befriend scheme power plus 30%. Yes, let's go. That's what gets me excited in here. <laughs> All the friends in court. That's what we want. Loot delivered. Nice. Uh, let them take on supplies, can they? Yes. Upgrade the palisade wall. Why can't we upgrade this? We don't have city planning. Yeah, okay. Sure. So how do we transition to feudal? How does that work in Crusader Kings 3? Let's see. I 
Ah, there we go. Tribal rulers with non-tribal legions may settle becoming feudal or clan. Alright, let's pass this law here. Tribal rulers with non-tribal legions may settle becoming feudal or clan. So, independent tribal rulers may settle... Okay, we have to get to absolute clan authority, tribal authority. Then we can do that. All right. Uh, it looks like we only need high tribal, absolute tribal. Doesn't say anything about anything else. Ah. I can't fill my water bottle. My glass. Can't fill it like this. Right. <clears throat> so where do we go? Where do we go next to raid? 12, 20, 24. Yep, there. Hello, boys. We're coming back. I will see. We'll figure it out. We have to transition eventually. You want the prize ring. I'm wearing that. Go away. You can't have that. Make your own prize ring. All these demands. Can we raid because we're tribe or can we raid because we're Irish? Let's check. Irish culture. Refined poetry. Historialists. Okay. Um, temperate trait. Nah. I don't think... We can raid because of that. Can we reform Irish? We don't have enough points for anything. <laughs> Is there something that allows us to raid? Regardless of what type we are? I'm looking for something that looks a little bit like raiding, but I can't see anything. <clears throat> Regional. The Wittener Gamot. Can an ex Saxon elective? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. As if. Religious patronage. Collective lands. Forest folk. No. Ah, well. We'll figure it out. Because I do like raiding, but eventually you're gonna get completely destroyed by feudal uh, technology enemies. That's just... Eventually you have to switch. You have to become something better. You have to grow beyond yourself. Oh, look at them. All unraided and ready. Russian scale armor. Sure. I have nothing. Might as well get rusty Russian scale armor. It is more than nothing. It is something. So I'll take it. Let's keep going. I mean, 75 gold for a grey artifact is a little bit high, but... Eh. Let's see. Yeah, let's talk about the martial study thing with him. The friend gains studying interests. We're reading the same books. We're having a book club. Okay, he's raising armies, but I think he's running away from them. 
that's not our concern. Let's compare skills. Oh my god. Lost four distress from that. Amazing. Practice piracy tenant. But apparently that loses you prestige at 1.5. Practiced piracy. Where is that? Um... Seafarers? No. Why can't I search this thing? It's not there. Practice piracy. Not here. I don't think we ha we can have that. It's nowhere here. Oh well. Dexter's fisherman maybe. <laughs> Additional defender advantage in coastal. Nice. Supply capacity plus 50%. For armies? Coastal sea danger, minus 25. That's actually pretty good. He can siege that, I don't care. Okay, this guy's our friend. Let's befriend our brother. Wait, is that our brother? No. He's just our archbishop. I was hoping our brother would be our archbishop. After all, he's a priest or something. Or a monk or both. But we'll never get... You saw it on my screen? What? And what tub was it? I am permanently blind. I'm going for puh puh puh. Something that starts with P. Nothing is starting with P. I failed that I can. I failed myself. Why? I'm yet still unable to escape the long shadow of same. Okay. I literally don't see it. Nothing starts with P. Social. Okay. Pacifist. Oh! Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Thank you. I was fully expecting a ship, not shields. Dacheteer and lower rulers may raid. Okay, so it doesn't help us. Dacheteer and lower rulers may raid overseas. Regardless of government. Who takes that? And for what? Okay. Like, maybe we can still raid, actually. Just not with ships. Mm. Our subjects can come in there without a care. Just our neighbors that we're raiding, they have to care a little bit. They are paying, not our subjects. We're bringing the money from the outside. So there are some things in Crusader Kings still where you have to tab out and read on it. Truth can marry. Sure. We'll take it. I like the shield though. It's cute with a little harp on it. 
Blue and Harpy O. Oh. North Umbria. We broke apart from Alba. Oh. Okay. I see. I'm not gonna go fight them. Do they have anything interesting left here? Oh, uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit interesting stuff left. So we can dip around here. The English could have enough to fight us. So we need to be quick about this. Basically immediately get back out. Oh, look at that. We seize the little trinket book. I'm gonna leave. Don't worry, England. Considering the online chatter, it was nerfed to only lower rulers. Okay. But then it's... What? Who would take that? Like, how long do you realistically stay as a duke or a count? I don't know. That sounds weird. Sure, I'm compassionate. I'll take your ransom. No worries. I understand. Your pain and your plight. The only other way is to form man and the isles, and that you lose it after 100 years post formation. Okay. I mean, it's fine. We'll find other ways. We're just gonna invest heavy while we still have money to invest, is all. And we're already full up anyway. Almost. Let's go through this thing. Nah, let's just go home. I don't want to over-raid. He joins our court. He leaves our court. Are you actually good? Oh yeah, he's actually good. Come on in. Join my court. Let's get your spouse. No, not my lover. That's my lover. <laughs> you can't have her. And I think we'll stand down that army a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, stand them down. Give them a little bit of reprieve. We're really not earning all that much prestige, are we? Not a lot by a long shot. 20 gold from the prisoners. And we also got that one trinket here that we can destroy. Let's repair these. At least the ones we're wearing still. This we can destroy. Don't want to lose those. Knight improved. Nice. We like that. Are we illustrious now? Yes, we are. Very good. Illustrious means we increase the size of Ireland. <laughs> We decrease the amount of raidable territory, but we increase the size of Ireland. Dopey little cat. Oh, look at that. Our toot. Well, he's not our dude yet, but if he were, he'd be pretty amazing. Especially during winter. But it's okay. The guy we have is also great. We still have no children. But... Let's go with the family hierarchy still.
What did you think would happen living right next to me? So these are all feudals. Tickles me that we are taking down the feudal rulers here. As a little tribal. Should we get that commander? I mean, he's really good. Winter Soldier is great. Organizer is great. Military Engineer is great. How much do you cost me? 27 gold. I'll take you. I'll take you. Aw. The king becomes our friend. Thank you. I will remember your kindness. I have no problem with being friends with the king of Alba. Second biggest player around here. Luckily, we can't do all that much with money as a feudal ruler, uh, as a tribal ruler. So once we transition over to feudal, that'll be a little bit better to, for us, I think. Starting out with a bunch of money. Your regent. Doesn't matter. So you can have the regent. You can have Ethel with. You can have Ethel whatever. You can have all the Ethels. I don't want an, a single Ethel. Ulfric. Ethel wine. Have them all. Knock yourself out. Oh, look at that. We captured her. Now let's stand down our little army. We're above what we can control. Shame. We seized Excalibur. A pedestal item. I mean... Hello? Okay. Let's put up Excalibur then. And maybe repair it. I mean, a lot of people are claiming that they have it, but we for sure have it. And we have never hung up our renowned boar. <laughs> Good stuff. So, let's check our succession. And, uh, yeah, we can't grant titles to anyone because we don't have children at the moment. So, who do we give this to? Let's see, our martial champion and friend. Oh, yeah, he deserves it. Honestly, he can have both of these. He totally deserves it. And now we create the duchy for him. Make sure of the money and he can become a duke. How does that sound, huh? See? Worthwhile serving me. Absolutely worthwhile. Poes is next. This duke has these claims there. You have these claims there. I think I push his claims. Because he kind of likes us. He's a small fry in here and he weakens the guy who hates us. This guy. Because he then becomes independent and breaks the duchy a little bit open. Where are you going? Why do you come into my realm to fight? I have the defender bonus here. In the hills. Why would you do that to yourself? Oh, look at that. No, how unfortunate for him. Ah, oh, that sucks. And we already got a duke here, which I don't need to care about. 
Let's demand some conversions here. Use that hook. Everyone convert, please. Blessed be God. We're still pushing our religion. It's insular this time, but we're pushing it. Wait a moment. You fought Northumbria, but you didn't get all of it? That's silly. So what's next? Mercia? Petty Kingdom of Mercia is a big boy. We would be creeping right into that place. What are you fighting? Northman army. Oh, okay, let's let the Northman win that. That's fine. Okay. Do we elevate him? No. So our wife and queen is 18, but she's not yet pregnant. Let's maybe go seducer or romancer maybe. And also demand conversion. Undying devotion. I'll try. So what's going on here? What's this? Defending against the Northman army. Conquest. Of this. I'll let the Northmen take it. I'll take it back from them. That's no problem. I hear your plight, neighbor. I'll come and take care of it. So he's fighting a vassal war right now. Gain traditional raiment. Local fashions are great. I do not need things to legitimize my rule. It is true. I do not need things for such. So I think he's winning, but also not. He can't siege and this guy can't fight, so. Uh, sure. Return empty-handed. We didn't get her a special gift. Hmm. Shame. I mean, we do have a 100% success chance, so we don't necessarily need to do anything, really. Can you lose, please, so I can start my war for your lands? And then be a big liberator? I'm creeping in here. A creeping in here. What's, what's our... The Empire of Britannia. What do we need? 75. We have 90, 29. Okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. She's just a cat. Come on, call down. Calm down. Why is everyone always so upset about our cat? Really? Ethyl alcohol. Is that like a shopping list that you're putting in chat now? <laughs> Um, mutual lion, sure. Uh, I mean, sure. He's the one who hates us. Our vassal who hates us. Yeah. He's very competent in his craft. We definitely want a better armor than the one we have. For sure. Can you be done? Let's break that betrothal, I think. It's not gonna happen. Here, I have a sister. <laughs> you want her? You can have her. Hmm. So we lost our ally there. But we still got Alba. Good old Alba. Dear old Alba. Friend of the Irish. We tribal rulers, we have to stick together, don't we? 
So who can we give our sister to? Which sister is it even? This one? Nah. She's possessed. That needn't be bad. You know? Possession isn't the deal breaker. The artifact may gain raiding modifier. That is very cool, but also not. Let's encourage our champions. Because raiding will go away eventually. So right now I would enjoy it, but later I would be a little bit sad about it. So maybe we go with that. And let's give you someone who can help you have children. Let's give you this guy. Good Irish lad. You can even have a matrilineal match. Let's go. You don't need to be alone. Okay. They've won. So in a moment... We can go fight them. Another lad to serve. Sure, I'll take him. So you have a lot of soldiers all of a sudden, don't you? Holy war for the duchy. Astaru warriors might join. I don't think anyone will. Ah, oh, let's go. Let's holy war this. We haven't done a Holy War yet. And let's get... Vesex. Barcelona. And Alba in here. Just gotta wait for the music to simmer down. Ah, oh, thank you. This fanfare is always so big, so pompous. Let's see if we can, with our allies together, fight the Northman Scourge. Okay, they're attacking us down here. In the plains, where we would lose. So, we're gonna siege them here. Maybe? Would be nice if our Holy Warrior could actually, you know, Holy Warrior this one. Alba? I don't know where Alba is. Where are your troops, my friend? We'll save the queen. And now she becomes our soulmate. As is... Tradition. Okay, our allies are... Kinda coming. Together we should be fine, no? I mean, we have the winter leader and everything. Um, nonsense. I don't want to be superstitious. So let's wait for these guys to come. Okay, they're not coming. Alright, there's more troops coming in here. That could go really bad for us. We have allies coming and he doesn't, so... Without the allies, that would have been very bad. I'm sure. And without our Winter Soldier and everything. I mean, he still has the advantage because he too has a Winter Soldier. So, that doesn't really help us. Okay, let's see if someone else is the father of our child here. Are we paranoid? No. Heart of the family, close family opinion, plus 15 for sure. Let's have it. Okay, um... Suspicions laid to rest, but she's kind of unhappy that we didn't trust her. Somewhat understandable. <laughs> let's go siege some stuff now. And let's hope Alba does show up. Eventually. 
Okay, everyone is sieging here and there, so we can just kind of go there, maybe. So we did get all the war score we can get out of fighting them. Meaning only sieging now. Okay, and our allies bring some siege equipment so we can get through here actually, so that's good. And we have a siege leader in. So it's all fine. They're probably gonna try and siege some stuff again. I accept your gift, thank you. Just got some gold randomly. Let's set our guy to organize the army so we don't lose any money while we're doing these cool things here. Yes, Duke, please come in. Join me in court. Thank you. Our court grandee is not level one. Oh god. Come on, everyone. Let's increase our court grandeur here. Bangor Temple Holding. Let's go. If we can build temples, we always do. Eventually, your church is going to pay so much tax. They are almost funding your whole thing. Well, you may attend to me. You want... This guy to become a knight? Yeah, he's okay. Sending sensitive information to foreign spies in Alba. I forgive you. Once. Do not betray me again. Okay. What is our court grandeur at the moment? Huh? It isn't even at one. Ah, well, I don't care. Maybe just boosted it up crazy big with one stroke of genius. Where did you come from? Were you on the continent, maybe? Magnificent. A shield. Oh, that's not really armor, is it? I mean, okay. We'll hang it on our wall. Thank you. I appreciate it. We still have room above us. There hangs the shield of our house. That's fine. What inspiration do we have? What's going on here? You want to forge something wondrous. Merely decent. No. I'm not helping you. On merely decent. Oh, look at that. Another Northman invasion or something. Or something. What was that? Well, it doesn't really matter. We call in everyone. Northman army conquest of the Duchy of Munster. I mean, they're already here, you know. Let's pay that ransom to get our air back. While well, we still need one. There we go, that's done. So the Northmen are kicked out here. And we have too much and hold too much. Let's see. Let's get the duchy title usurped here. Cost us a bunch of money. And let's grant some of these titles. So who do we have? Our steward and champion. Our brother-in-law. Our cousin, chancellor and friend. Let's go. You can have all this. You can have the whole thing. You do have children, don't you? I mean, she is of our house and his wife, so they're kind of forming an unholy alliance here. I think I made a beast. I made a monster. <laughs> right, so what is... What is this? Oh. 
Okay. All right. So we need to send our army here. Cross the sea. That's where they're gonna come. And land somewhere. Nope. We'll fight them off, as we've always done. We have actually fought them off a whole bunch of times, so... Might as well fight them off some more. I like the green growing into England. I do enjoy that. Wait, I still have extra holding that I can't have? Why? Where? There. You there. Take that as well, please. Thank you. And our player, Aaron Daughter, is born. Let's get you on some sort of education focus because you're hopefully not our last child. Uh, let's get you educated as well. Maybe someone who's good at intrigue. Our sister, spy master, and friend. Perfect. And matrilineally, alliance power. What can we get? Meath. I nah, believe we'll that open. Once you're a ruler yourself, maybe that's more interesting. Okay, there come the enemies. Like, do I fight them right away? That's a big question here. I think so. With the landing penalty they get... What's up here? Okay. Shoe mittens. Shoe. You successfully shoe the cannon away. With the, with the landing penalty they get, it's super easy to fight them. And we have allies coming in, so... Shouldn't have been a problem. And so it isn't. But they always come like for the biggest chunks of everything. And I do wish they would have to give you some money. Usually if someone loses in an attack war against you, they have to give you some money. And they really should. Oh, look at all these cute little things around us now. Would be a shame if something happened to these. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. That would be something. Let's count, conquer the little county there. I mean, it's nothing. Sure. I think we'll do that. We really don't need all our troops for this, but... Why not bring it if, if you have it, right? Doesn't really cost us anything. Four more years until we can increase this again. Oh, the siege is gonna take forever. How's our fascination coming along? 36 years. That's nothing. Wait, did something happen to my sister? Alright. Let's go befriend our brother. Okay, our brother does not want to be befriended. Got it, I hear you. I'll go befriend someone else then. Oh no. The King of Alba died. Now oh, I can't have an alliance with them anymore. Sad. Now I can go fight them. <laughs> Not so sad. That is... That is a potentially interesting thing to do, I must say. It's a potentially very interesting thing to do. Does the Welsh culture still exist or did we extinguish it? I don't think I tried to extinguish it, so... I, I didn't really fight anything up here, really. But... 
I'm not sure if there's any Welch here. I only see Gaelic. Is I mean, does Gaelic count as Welsh? Um, another thing to grant to someone. Who do we grant it to? Our steward and champion. Sure. Let's give everyone a home. Okay, so Alba is pretty weak right now. Uh, well, for... For Alba, anyway. Alba is usually very, very strong, so... Maybe we should try and take some stuff out of them? The Duchy of Albany, maybe? Or just... I mean, the Duchy of Albany is where he has his... everything. <laughs> Just really take a big chunk out of them. While we still can. I think we shall. Who knows when the next big, big chance for this is. Okay, trying to find a place where we can go in here even. See. Call in an ally? I think so. Let's get Ethelwolf in here. And Barcelona, come on down. I just don't want to leave it up to chance. If we can take something big out of them, we'll do it. God, we're so slow at siege. Ay, 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 ay. Some more Ethel mares. Let's go more Ethels out here. Why does all of this stress us so much? We'll go with this. It's the best option. Loses us a little bit of gold. Learns us a language. Gives us a friend. That's all fine. At least there is about as efficient at sieging as we are, so... It's not much of a problem. So you're fighting someone else, aren't you? No. Why are these hostile to us? Time well spent. We learned a language that we never even tried to learn. So will we be quicker with our siege so we can prevent him from finishing his, his siege? That's a big question. We'll certainly try. I wish I could cue the command, be like, okay, once you're done with that siege, just move down there. But you can't. Come on, quicker. Be quicker. Quicker! Okay, they are banning the siege. Fine. Very smart. Okay, it, it, they're trying to get onto the Isle of Man, because there we would have to cross a strait to get to them. Our lover is pregnant, and we're done with the befriending here. He's only closer to a friendship, but not actually our friend. Shame. And our allies arrive in the very last moments of our triumph. Okay. We did a siege, we did a battle. Let's push forward. And our queen is also pregnant again. So if it's a boy, that's our new heir.
only variant of Welch is Cornish. Okay. No, I don't... I haven't done anything about them. So will these raiders run into me now? Do you have any loot? No. You have no loot. Where are you going? Are you coming to my stuff? Yeah. They're actually raiding us. Right under our notice. Personal scheme success chance plus 25% against family members. So befriend, sway, all that kind of stuff. We're able to use rescue household members, Kaz's belly, unify the house, Kaz's belly. Okay. So we're not going to stop them from raiding us. Uh, we would have to abandon our siege fully. Who holds Ulster? It's not the Scottish. The Albans. Excuse me. So we're just going to be raided for a while now, huh? Okay. Fair enough. I did it to them. They get to do it to me. Let's see what our allies do. I mean, if we kill them, we got a whole four gold out of it. I don't think that's worth it, fighting them over four gold. I think we speed this up a bit. The sieges take forever at this stage. That's something to really look forward to in the late game. Fast sieges with bombards. Okay, you want me to have this guy in my court? I will. He's a decent knight. And I will immediately turn him into such. Can I? Okay. Let's create a new accolade then. He can become an accolade knight. A thug? Or a contender? <sighs> Doesn't really matter. We'll create the accolade. Can we create another one? No. There we go. Our player, heir, and son. So he's learned a little bit. He's kind of smart. So let's push him in this direction. And let's get him someone who's good at teaching that kind of stuff. Okay, we really don't have anyone, so we are personally going to raise him. 98% oh, Godness, no! Finish your siege! Finish your siege! Do not... Oh. He abandoned the siege. Had he just finished his siege? Why do I keep doing that? I know that they start moving. Okay, but they got a, got a better siege there, so... Maybe that'll finish it. So we're just taking chunks out of everyone around us. That makes them long-term kind of weak. And I tend to go for the ones that have the biggest part of them. So the capital, take the chunks that contain the capital. That's usually a good, good bet. To both weaken them and strengthen yourself. Oh, there we go. We got a nice little... Siege done. So now we took their capital, basically. Pushing them into somewhere else. Now, who is worthy? <laughs> Our brother-in-law and champion. If you're, if you're worried about who to give these things to, don't give it to anyone ambitious. If you're really worried, give it to someone who's content. Content or loyal. Those are pretty good. Um, personally, I'm just kind of looking at who's my friend... Who likes me. Who done good for us in the past. Who's worthy, you know. Who, who, who's great here. Like my champion, he's a great lad. Um, might as well give it to him. Also good if they have children. So there's someone there to inherit it. And it doesn't pass out of the realm, basically. That's, that's kind of what you want to consider there. But of course, what we could do... If you look at that, we got a new duchy building and uh, longhouses and all that kind of stuff. So 
We have a few more construction buildings than we have here. See? So we might actually move our capital here. But we have much less barony space. Like This is just three baronies. So that's not super ideal either. Like that's not a great position to have your capital in, honestly. Nothing on the island really is. I think maybe London. Uh... Where's that? Where's London? Do I like olives? Enjoying some Spanish Queen olives. I mean, I like olives, but I'm a bit of a... I, I like the green ones and the black ones sometimes, so... <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't know what exactly Spanish Queen olives are. What are they? What makes them Spanish Queen olives? We'll give it to our champion. All of it. And now we check. Do we have a Duchy of Albany? We'll create it. And give that to him as well. And we are currently his primary heir. So should he die, all those titles revert to us. Let's see. So he'll probably go find himself a spouse now. Thicker meat green olives from Spain. Alright. Next time I buy olives, I'll, I'll try and see if there's some sort of specification of what exactly olives they are. I'm not a gourmand. Uh, wait. Kent? Aren't you my allies or something? I have to take Kent because my sister's in prison there. <laughs> nah, it's fine. We don't need to pay ransom for her. But they need to. There are some ransoms to be paid for us. And the yes, there is specific, a lot of legal ramifications for not being specific for your source. I mean, I'm sure that's the same here. I just never paid any heed to it. I never, no I never looked at what exactly it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I just never considered to check where these specific olives are coming from. I'm more of a price performance type person, you know. Can I afford it? Are they good? That's really all I need to know. I'm not taking any of the bad trades here. What's going on here? Lure of the Vendetta. Start a feud against the House of Wessex. Okay, he just... Did he just kill my sister? He just killed my sister. Remember the death of Krundemel. We get a house feud. A stress gain. <laughs> Alright, Wessex. Alright. Okay. Sure. Again, same strategy. Let's let's have a quick look here. So, this is his main spot. Where would we find London? <laughs> what of these is London? I don't know. It's somewhere in here, isn't it? Aldham of Berkshire, Oxfordshire, Buckinghamshire, Middlesex, Surrey. Isn't it here? I feel like it's somewhere here. There's a special building. I should have ransomed my sister. They killed her. I think we'll just go in. Just take a chunk that's that's this. Might not be so sensible. But I think I just want to take a bite out of them. Just take that. Just take it away from them. Push them toward the sea. 
Who's your ally? The Duchy of York. 711 uh, soldiers. <laughs> Need a new commander. I think we'll do that next time. I think we've done enough for today. So let's set a new commander. Let's improve our commanders. Our new... Uh, the, not commander, the... the Marshal. Culture does come in any form. Oh yeah, we'll go with that. Dining lifestyle, fine. I don't care. Alright, and I think we'll leave it there for today. Sometimes you find them maybe kind of you don't like. And then you can keep an eye out for a time there. I mean, that's a good point, for sure. I'll, I'll keep my olive consideration in mind. I tend to find the one I like and then I buy them sale or not. When I want them. If I can afford them. Which, more often than not, is luckily at the moment still. <laughs> Alright, we'll leave it here for today. Thank you very much for joining on the stream. Uh, oh yeah, raid. Very good idea. But I'll 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 switch off for the YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, th thank you so much for watching. Check out the Twitch as well. And goodbye to the YouTube people. Bye.